Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry. Hey everyone, this is Rob from Outdoor Travel Channel. Thought I'd get you up to date on what's going on with boating and fishing. So, the season for us is going to be starting soon. We'll be taking the boat up to Lake Powell next month. And so we've been kind of working on a lot of projects. Uh, our outboard mortar here. Uh, we finally got a stand for it. We're going to do a uh, bought a garbage can down here to put water in so we can do some tests to make sure it's running okay. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, the dinghy is in the garage right now. Uh, we had to actually redo some of the molding on the side. Came out and it's all done so it's ready to go. And then we have um, some other projects we did on the trailer and I'll show you that right now. So on the trailer, uh, for those of you who may be new to the channel, we have a basically a 28 or 30 foot basically uh, Maxim which was built by Bayliner back in 1999 and uh, it's quite a beast and but it's trailerable. So this year we uh, replaced our straps um, and also the security straps in the back and we've been uh, waxing the boat and getting it all cleaned up and sorry about the noise that's our pool pump. We also replaced new straps on the back of the uh, trailer just to make sure we have the right poundage um, to handle a boat this big. And uh, so you can see we've had wires and things like that all piped in here and we have it covered with a very ugly tarp just to keep shade. Uh, here in Arizona, sunshine is a killer. So I'll let you show, also show you what we've been doing inside. So we're inside the cabin now, and uh, it's a wreck. We've got all these things we're working on in here, clean up, and uh, I think this is what boats look like when they're not in use. And uh, the big thing is we never had a dining room table in here. So we had a cushion that fit in here. So we took the pattern off that. We bought some uh, three-quarter inch plywood and we're getting it cut to the size trying to find legs to fit in here and um, then we'll finish it and fix it up a little nice and we'll have a nice dining room table in here that we didn't have last year so we're looking forward to getting that put in so the only thing left that we'd like to do is replace the water pump for running water it works but it won't turn itself off and so uh, it's not one of those things we have to change right away so we may still launch the boat without getting that pump changed. We're now inside the boat in Sunbridge and we have a tarp over this just to keep the shade out of it so it looks terrible. But our biggest project was right here is this is our depth finder and it's just a digital readout and we you couldn't read it. It was uh, the gauge was going out. Well, of course, when you got a 1999 boat, to find the parts uh, was a little bit of a challenge. But once we got onto a forum for Maxim Boats, uh, we found a link to get one. So this was the old part. And uh, actually, I was able to find the exact same part. So I was really ex excited because that would have been very expensive to have to put a new depth finder system in here. So once we tore all this out, <laughs> got it all plugged in. Um, everything went perfect so we're really pleased we had a chance to kind of rewire a few things in the back here and clean it up so uh, very very happy about that so depth finder readout is now brand new and we're tickled pink about that so anyway on to other projects one other thing I had to point out is when we were testing the engines and stuff we broke one of the ignitions down here right in this area so uh, on my starboard side, <laughs> think about that, side engine, I had to replace the uh, ignition and that was really easy. I, I went right to a auto store, it was a 15 amp switch, cost maybe $15 to replace. Anyway, very easy to wire, it was a piece of cake, working just fine. So yeah, this has been a good 
time here at the house to find little odds and ends that we wanted to get fixed on the boat and so that's what we've been doing but in a month from now this baby's going to be in the water oh yeah i almost forgot we also have to remove the lettering because obviously we're not in washington state anymore and we're relicensing this boat for arizona so the numbers on the side of the boat which you can't see from here have to be removed and replaced too so yeah a little bit more to do but that's what happens when you own a boat and uh that's it <laughs> she's ready to roll so this year our emphasis is taking the boat up to lake powell and trying to do a little bit more fishing and so we're looking forward to that and uh i think that's it so that's the update on the boat what's going on this year we're hoping to have some uh interesting reports some cruising pictures it's gorgeous up there in lake powell I want to thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and <laughs> watch some of our previous videos on boating uh it's been quite the adventure getting this boat uh down here from washington state bringing it home uh just to get it into the side of the house i had only two inches on both sides of the trailer to get it through that gate we just walked through and uh <laughs> yeah um that was quite the adventure so anyway there's your update. Talk to you later. See you out in the outdoors, guys. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. We appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos, especially our boating videos from last year. Anyway, looking forward to being up at Lake Powell and showing you some beautiful scenery. Talk to you then. Bye now.